Hello everyone, today I'm going to be opening my Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Lite. As you've been following my channel, you may know that I made an update video of this phone explaining that it doesn't work anymore. After I made that video, I brought this to a repair shop and the technician told me that the phone has a lot of issues since these are signs of overheating. So I have a feeling that the phone overheated and that's what caused all these dots. And also, that's what happened to the display apparently. Now the repair cost is really expensive, so I figured out it wasn't worth it. And that's why I'm going to open it. So I have a hair dryer over here to soften the adhesive and then a simple knife to cut it open. Now safety first, so I have my safety glasses in case something goes wrong. And let's see what's inside. So first I'm going to get this tool and remove the SIM card tray over here on the side. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm going to use the hair dryer to heat up the phone a bit to soften the adhesive so we can cut it open. So I'm going to move my camera a bit back, make sure that this camera doesn't overheat. Let's see. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to get a different tool. I just realized that this design isn't the most secure for attaching the glass piece onto the phone. So if you accidentally leave it in a hot place and melt the back panel, it actually might just fall off since there are no screws. Compared to other phones like this Apple one where it has screws holding it into place. So even if it overheats, then it won't melt away or melt and come off, I mean. So let's continue and try to open it like this. I don't want to crack the glass, so let's just be careful. Okay, look at this. I can slice it open like this. So, it's a bit hard. I'm using plastic so I don't damage the glass. I don't want it to shatter everywhere so that we can have a good controlled disassembly, I guess. <laughs> um, there we go. Actually, not too difficult. So, there we go. Let's slice it open like this. And just go around like that. All the way over here. Whoops. Okay, something happened. Let's see. Oh! The sticker is peeling away, so now the glass is almost transparent. Check that out. Okay, here's a better angle, so let's open it. Okay, looks like the sticker is coming off. And we just need to pull it. Oh no, look at this. What? Check this out. It's almost transparent. Wow. Take a look at that. This is the Gorilla Glass from the phone. I've never seen this before. Wow. So I wouldn't recommend trying this at home if you want to put your phone back in one piece and use it again. But if you have a broken phone, then it's a pretty cool experiment. I need to clean all of this stuff. Let's take a look. Got this tool. Got this knife. And here's the phone. Okay, there's a few screws. Here's the front. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. Oh no, they're actually really rusty. I'm gonna have to buy some new ones soon. Anyway, let's see. Let's open this. Have this piece over here, plastic, and we have the internals of the phone. So we have the 
charging port, vibration motor, and all of the other chips. And this is really strange. There's some looks like corrosion or something going on. Whoops, looks like it's stuck. Okay, so here's the screw that came out, and here are the cameras. Oh wow, look at this. So I think this is the main sensor. Yep, this is the main sensor. And one of these is the ultra wide and macro. I'm not sure which ones. But that's pretty cool. Here's a close up. And there's this really strange stuff around it. Like some glue or thermal paste looking material. Okay, here's a ribbon cable. How about the battery? How do we move this? Looks like A, B, and C. Oh, okay, look, it has instructions. First, pull out A, then pull B. Okay, so here's A. How do I pull out A? First, pull out A. Oh, here's A. Okay, we pull out A. Yeah, and then we pull out B. Like that. So we're just gonna pull it up little by little. And I'm assuming that's how you move the battery. Oh, okay. So it's glued or taped into place like that and comes out like this okay so here's the battery got it removed and here's a closer look 5170 milliamps okay put it aside and now most of the phone is empty look at that and it's also really light pretty cool so now we can remove this board Let's see. Okay, this thing comes out. Oh, this is the speaker module. And then there are a few clips. So we have this one, this ribbon cable, and then this one, and then this one. And I think that should be it. So now we should be able to just pull this out like this so this piece needs to come out first over here like this okay just breaking away and then this one can also come out like this is this a ribbon cable or is this part of it okay that's a ribbon cable and then there's a screw over here that will give me access to the entire motherboard. So let's remove this screw. Okay, just like that. And then let me zoom out. There we go. Oh wow, look at this. So the motherboard is now coming out. And the bottom is kind of stuck, so we need to remove this. There we go. And then, I guess it's easy to pry under here. Like that. Okay. Oh, wow. So, there's one more cable. Over here. And that's the motherboard. Oh yeah, there is some thermal paste over here. So that will prevent the phone from overheating. But I had this phone checked at a repair shop. And according to the technician, the damage on the phone might have been caused by overheating. So I'm not really sure if that thermal paste actually worked. 
let's see if we can remove the camera assembly looks like they're attached into place so they can't be removed and yeah this is a closer look at the logic board or motherboard so here's the rest of the phone we have this empty shell with a few other components the vibration motor and then the display and I guess if I melt this display with a hair dryer it will also come off and just leave the aluminum frame so here are all the other stuff like the buttons over here and the power button over here and then this over here is the in display fingerprint sensor so that's what allows you to unlock the phone from this side of the display by scanning your fingerprint front camera and all the ports are empty now because we have the motherboard over here and there's also so much adhesive coming off look at all the dust that's what's held into place I'm gonna show you all the components okay so after that disassembly here's a quick look at all the components so I used the hair dryer the knife and this tool to pry the phone open then I used my screwdrivers and these are the screws that we removed and then we have all the different pieces of the phone so here's the back glass it's almost transparent now well part of it's transparent Gorilla Glass and then we have the back part over here some plastics and the NFC tag and then we have this camera module which came out I'm not sure which camera this is but it came out from over here now this is the main board and the only board on this phone I watched a lot of other YouTube disassembly videos with different phones and a lot of other phones have separate boards so for example with Apple's iPhone they have the logic board and then the charging board is separate so that if the charging board breaks you can easily replace it but with this Xiaomi phone everything's attached to the same board so if something over here breaks then you'll have to replace the whole thing which is basically as good as just buying a new phone anyway here's the frame and the display assembly so there's nothing in it this is where the battery would sit and the motherboard would sit and then there's the vibration motor also the fingerprint sensor over here and the front camera over here in the top I can even move it if I want so here's the front camera it's a bit stuck though so I'm not gonna force it oh there we go here's the front camera and if we look through this hole on the top right now that's where we used to stay and then this is the camera lens or camera cover with a flash over here so that's where it connects some of the pins the gold contacts and then here's the speaker assembly and then there's this piece over here which just came out at the top so just a plastic bracket here's the battery and also the sim card tray now hopefully you found this video entertaining and interesting if you have any comments questions or suggestions feel free to leave them below and please like and subscribe for more and support my channel so thanks for watching